Hey guys, what's going on? It is me, Box 12 here with another Realm of the Mad God guide video. And this time I thought that I would cover a subject that really anybody would benefit from. Or not benefit, but enjoy to hear. Today, I'm going to be talking about how not to die in Realm of the Mad God. And I'm not just going to be all like, hey, you gotta be careful. Don't die. I'm not going to, you know, just give you a stupid generic really general answer to your problem because obviously be more careful can be interpreted in any way it's like well how should i be more careful what should i do and i don't mean don't do anything like don't try to get drops and just try to survive because obviously the point of the game is to you know get drops get stronger and get better until you max your character 8 8 get the best year that he could get and then get all that fame that is the that's the cycle of realm and then you die on that character make a new one that's how the game should be now i'm gonna split up this video into three different categories of how not to die and they're not just gonna be be careful i'm gonna you know i'm actually gonna give you some tips and some ideas for what you can do so yeah let's get started <laughs> Tip number one, be in control. And what I mean by be in control is, first, I want you to go to your settings. I want you to enable screen rotation. This is how most Realm players do it. Not everyone does, but I highly recommend learning this. It makes you much more in control of your character while playing. It, you know, allows you to maneuver your way, maneuver yourself in ways that you probably never thought that you could. So I want you to go into your options. I want you to toggle well, not toggle, but turn off center of your character so that way you're pointed more towards the bottom. And then I want you to enable screen rotation with Q and E. Q turning you to the left and E turning you to the right. So that way, whenever you're in a pinch or you just want to move somewhere, you don't always have to hit D to go right. You can hit E to swerve to the right, and this will allow you to go around obstacles at a more simple and easy feel it will be a lot more comfortable for you. And I know at first it's going to be like, oh, what? Ah! Don't get intimidated by these controls. I was really clunky with them. I couldn't, I didn't know how I was ever going to get used to these controls, but look at me now. I play with them every single day. Can't imagine playing without them. If you learn these controls now, I almost guarantee you will not regret it. And if you want to put on a toggle, so that way you can go off-center and on-center, you can also enable that as well. I don't have one. Um, I could probably enable one, um, but I don't really see a huge necessity for it uh, as of now. But also with, you know, keep yourself in control, is pick a character that you're really comfortable with. Someone that you've been playing for a long time, and that, you know, you think, you know what, I'm gonna max this character. Pick that character. If you're really good with Knight, pick Knight. If you're really good with Trickster, pick Trickster. But if you're going to play the ninja for the very first time, I don't recommend maxing stats on him before you even go out and try him. If you die and you just drank a bunch of pots on him, you're going to regret that. You're going to be like, oh man, I'm so stupid, why did I do that? And I don't want anybody to have that regret. I want people to have fun with the game. And, you know, me, <laughs> I have played as every single class except, uh, well, I've played as every class, but one class I could never master is the rogue. And you know, rogues, you see them everywhere all the time. I just, I made one rogue 6-8, never played on it, and the first day that I played with him, I died at a skull shrine, and, um, this was before pets, um, and I never made a rogue since, and I don't want that to happen to you guys. Don't be discouraged to make new characters, just get familiar with them, and familiar with the control scheme that I just told you before you make one. Also, max a stat that you are most comfortable with, and one that will help you survive. Max the defense stat first, it will reduce damage, and it's fairly easy to max on characters these days. You can get one death from each and every Abyss of Demons that you do. Um, they are hard to run if you are 0-8, but if you have a lot of patience, you could clear the dungeon, defeat the boss, especially if you pick out a knight, you have, you know, you can, you know, with the armor and the shield, you can get a good armor buff and stun the boss. So yeah, max defense first, or vit if you want to regen the HP, but I would recommend defense. Tip number two, don't be freaking stupid. Now what I mean by don't be stupid is don't rush in somewhere that you are not physically or digitally capable of handling. 
if you are only 3'8", don't run up to Oryx whenever, like, he's shooting out a shotgun. If you can't handle it, back out. It's okay. Speaking of rushing in, don't rush anything. If you have never rushed, or at least never um, successfully rushed, an ocean trench, why try now? Wait until you have enough experience with the game controls to attempt one time, and make sure that you're on a character that is particularly easy to rush on, like a knight, or a warrior, or trickster, even mystic, if you want to get, uh, if you want to get interesting there. Don't rush anything that you don't need to. Like, Oryx's castle, rush with a group. You don't have to rush by yourself. You don't have to be, oh, I want to be first, dude, yeah! You don't have to do that, alright? You can, you can wait it out. You can be like, hey, you know what? I'm, you know what? I'm a, I'm a cool guy. I'm gonna stay back here. Just chill. Yeah! You can do that, too. That's perfectly fine. Heck, I don't, I don't really rush Oryx One's castle. I mean, you know, if I see a brute is, you know, still in the room, I'm not gonna just try to break the gate as fast as possible, uh, even though I see him out of the corner of my eye. I'm freaking wait for that guy to either get distracted or die, you know? Uh, I'm not gonna, why take a chance? I mean, I lost a, uh, I think I lost a 6-8 knight to him before. 999 fame. I'm freaking stupid. Just be careful, guys. Don't just rush in anywhere that you can't or that you might be second-guessing yourself. If you're second-guessing yourself about running in somewhere, your chances of dying have already been increased by, like, 50%, 30%, maybe 20, 15? I have no idea. Number three, get a pet. Whether or not you think that pets are either a good or a bad thing, Kabam, without a doubt, made this game a whole lot easier whenever they added pets. Sure, they made it hard whenever they took out Amis, but then they put in pets and that basically undid all the damage. But the, I think these are a lot more overpowered than Amis. I'm just gonna put that out there, because Amis cost a lot of money, you know? Like, it was a, you know, it was a pretty it was expensive. And, you know, they cost 11,500 fame, or you could buy them with items, which, uh, no. That would have been incredibly hard back in the day, by the way. But then pets, you know, you can just find a pet in the wild, capture it, and then raise it as your own, make it strong, treat it right, and then boom, you have a divine wow. If you do not have a pet, go out in Godlands, you could probably get a pet, you know, at least, maximum, 30 minutes of farming. Um, you could probably get a pet. Uh, you know, I mean, it is all random. I could, um, you know what? I'm gonna do a pot farming guide video in the future. How to get more loot. Gold. I don't mean, like, gold, like, buy gold so you can get items. That's, no! But if you don't have a pet, go out and get one on your own. And hopefully, whenever you hatch it, it has either heal or magic heal on it. Electric is good, too. Um, not the best. It, you know, if you can get all three on the Divine Pet, Heal, Magic Heal, and Electric, that is very good. I have Heal and Magic Heal right now on my rare maxed pet. Well, he's two levels away from being maxed, but I haven't died in so long. I, just, I don't have any fame. I don't have any fame. What am, I, what am I gonna do? But this is probably one of the hardest steps to actually follow, especially if you are a new player, because you don't have any fame to feed your pet. You don't want to spend gold on this game because, you know, you kind of don't know how to play yet, but if you can, um, try to, you know, work towards getting a pet. It was like working towards an Ami, you know, think, think about it like that. Okay. By the way, if you don't know what an Ami is, um, it was an item that gave you plus two of every attribute, 20 HP and MP. Maybe it was four, it was 20, yeah, and whenever you die, it would, de it would destroy itself, and you would, um, get teleported to the Nexus, and you wouldn't be dead. So it was called the Amulet of Resurrection. Fun fact! Still wish that they still had Amis, even now. I think it would just be fun to have them again. Um, but that's probably not gonna happen. <clears throat> anyway, hopefully you guys agree with my tips. If not, well, yep. Ah, dang it. I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to check out the next episode when I post it, which will probably be soon. And, yeah. Thank you for, uh, watching. Uh, leave a comment on what you want me to talk about next. Another guide. I will be making dungeon guides eventually. Um, more guides on items, more class guides. I love guides. I'm just gonna, I'm, you know what? I'm just, I'm just gonna do everything. I will see you then. See you.